Oxygen Exposed, August 1, 1774. Before oxygen had a name, science ran on myth. The reigning theory of phlogiston imagined fire as a substance, an invisible spirit released whenever something burned. Metals that turned to ash were said to have lost their phlogiston, and air could absorb only so much before becoming useless, pH logistica Ted. It was a neat fantasy that explained combustion for over a century. But on a bright August morning in 1774, Joseph Priestley shattered that illusion. He focused sunlight through a burning lens onto red mercuric oxide, releasing a mysterious gas. Candles flared with new intensity. Mice lived longer. Priestley called the substance, deflogisticated air, believing it could soak up phlogiston. What he'd really discovered was oxygen. The timing was tangled. Carl Wilhelm Scheele had found oxygen two years earlier but hadn't published, while Antoine Lavoisier soon proved Priestley's gas wasn't absorbing anything, it was fueling combustion itself. Lavoisier gave oxygen its name and torched the phlogiston theory for good. What began with a flick of sunlight became a turning point in science, a moment when myth gave way to measurement. The chemical revolution had its spark, and oxygen, once the ghost in the flame, became the breath of a new era. Thanks for watching, if you enjoyed this one check out our channel and subscribe for more.